Dan is a very serious man. He's a dedicated scientist. He's got a great sense of humor. Uh, he's got good scientific ideas, and that's what makes him a great scientific collaborator. He doesn't tell a lot of jokes. Uh, on the other hand, I tell a lot of jokes. Some of them you don't want to hear about. There's a serious side and a hard-driving side of Herb that's right below the surface that sometimes people don't see. Stan is a great guy, and I just uh, enjoy being with him. You know, I think we made a rather good uh, uh, combination of talent. Oh, and good morning. Today, I have a story of a critical discovery in modern science. Herbert Boyer, alongside with Stan Cohen, created the first recombinant DNA. They collaborated, they collaborated at an intervention in Hawaii. At the time, Cohen was working on plasmids. Boyer was interested in the bacteria E. coli, particularly the enzymes that could be isolated from E. coli. In 1975, Herbert met Robert Swanson. Swanson worked for a venture capital company. Swanson believed in, in the burgeoning biotech industry, thus Genentech Incorporated was born. Genentech cloned and later developed the method for synthesizing human insulin using recombinant DNA technology. Boyer and Cohen have won numerous awards for their discovery, and Genentech is still one of the biggest biotech companies till this day. Herbert Boyer was born July 6, 1936, in Derry, Pennsylvania. He was a lineman on the varsity football team and wanted to become a doctor. After graduation, Boyer attended St. Vincent's College and started with a pre-med curriculum. After a few weeks, he realized that being a doctor was not his profession. When he graduated in 1958, he had a PhD in biology and chemistry. He decided on a research career. Herbert Boyer and Steve Cohen were worried that the RDNA carrying a dreaded gene would create cancerous tumors and those cells would spread. When Boyer, along with Cohen, put the RDNA enzyme into E. coli bacteria, they hoped it would cut the DNA in one place. Instead, the enzyme cut the DNA in five places. The discovery of recombin recombinant DNA expands further today. Thank you for joining us. Have a wonderful day, folks.